He makes the point that actually you couldn't develop a body of work of this scale, of this ambition to chart what he talks about as the most beautiful season. You couldn't do it in, in oil paint because it, you simply wouldn't be able to, in practical terms, um, pull everything together. You would lose so much time. He wouldn't be able to create these works if he didn't have all of the experience of painting and drawing because those abilities, that experience of 60 years of work are all embedded in these iPad works. He's not using technology to help him. It's not a shortcut. He's still putting in exactly the same amount of work as if he was painting and drawing. He points out that, you know, if Van Gogh had got hold of this or, or, um, or Monet had got hold of this, they would be very, very interested. It's just another way of, of generating images. During the time he was making this, the whole world was in lockdown and feeling very fearful about what might happen to us all and our livelihoods. He, he made the point that they can't cancel spring. You know, he was aware that they were canceling everything. And it really does have a narrative quality. You start with the winter trees, which look very sculptural, very stark, and it just goes through until the trees are in full blossom. It's sort of very, very uplifting exhibition. It was a very ambitious project for him to take on. He's in his 80s. He was, um, he was working unbelievably hard um, during, during spring in 2020, um, and he was producing more than one work a day. It was an absolute labour of love, capturing spring. Both exhibitions together just, just provide such a rich experience for visitors to Beaux-Arts to really understand this, this wonderful artist's work.